Today we're going to talk overall about sentence corrections and one of the biggest concepts about sentence corrections, which is quite simply, we must always remember that meaning of the sentence is always going to be more important than grammar. So we set up our scratch pad as we always would with the question number and then some answer choices just to help facilitate the process of elimination and a line where we can put in any errors that we identify in the sentences written or in the answer choices. So in 1995, Richard Stallman, a well-known critic of the patent system, testified in patent office hearings that to test the system, a colleague of his had managed to win a patent for one of Kirchhoff's laws. An observation about electric current first made in 1845 and now included in virtually every textbook of elementary physics. So the subject of the whole thing, as far as the underline goes, is one of Kirchhoff's laws. So we need to make sure that everything from a meaning standpoint, as it's written, properly is built around one of Kirchhoff's laws. And one of Kirchhoff's laws, as written, is an observation about electric current first made in 1845, and one of Kirchhoff's laws is now included in virtually every textbook of elementary physics, so there's nothing wrong with the intended meaning of the sentence as it's written. And the thing that probably jumps out most in the answer choices is going to be this it, which jumps around, but is going to be a very nice thing to evaluate because it gives us an opportunity to look at a pronoun. So we'll say that the error that's being tested here is pronouns. And with choice B, we've got one of Kirchhoff's laws, which was an observation about electric current first made in 1845. And it is now included in virtually every textbook of elementary physics. But when we insert the it there, now what was included in virtually every textbook? It makes it sound like it's the observation as opposed to the actual law. So the observation you wouldn't include in the textbook, you'd include the law. So B is out because it makes it literally absurd once you change the meaning in that way. And so then we go to choice C. So when a patent for one of Kirchhoff's laws, namely it was an observation, like that makes it sound as if the patent was an observation about electric current first made in 1845. So again, because we insert that pronoun, we change the meaning in an absurd way. Then we get to D, we've got one of Kirchhoff's laws, an observation about electric current first made in 1845. It is now included in virtually every textbook of elementary physics. Again, makes it sound like the patent was included in the textbooks. And then lastly, we no longer have a pronoun to deal with, but we have one of Kirchhoff's laws that was an observation about electric current, first made in 1845, and is now included in virtually every textbook of elementary physics. Well, that makes it sound like the patent was first made in 1845. So again, it changes the meaning by moving around the order of the phrases and just makes it absurd. So we reread one more time, in 1995, Richard Stallman, a well-known critic of the patent system, testified in patent office hearings that to test the system, a colleague of his had managed to win a patent for one of Kirchhoff's laws, an observation about electric current first made in 1845 and now included in virtually every textbook of elementary physics. That properly orders everything, properly describes what Kirchhoff's law is, the one of them, which was an observation about electric current first made in 1845 and is now included in every textbook which properly articulates the intended meaning of the sentence 